Hey there guys and welcome back to Rickart's journey through Skyrim where you find us at the gates of solitude. Since the Battle of Whiterun we have been sent to report to General Tullius to find out our next orders. Now I'm a little bit curious as to what these next orders are but we have actually quite a bit to do in Winterhold. We actually need to go to Sarthal to continue our investigation into the Golder Legend. That is something that I seek to do. Plus, we need to return the Star of Azura. And we also need to go back to Septimus Cygnus to give him his... Uh, to give him the lexicon that he gave us, which allowed us to unlock the Elder Scroll. We've been a little bit cautious ever since the Battle of Whiterun because it was a rather one-sided affair and Rickard is none see me when you get bored. is none too pleased about it just simply because you know it wasn't really a fight it was more of a slaughter in the end of the people of Skyrim and you know it's it's one thing winning and surviving but knowing how many you killed is weighing heavily on his mind I mean Rickard's not a fighter per se he's just prescribed into the Legion because he was under attack from the Stormcloaks and he had to pick a side. Yeah. Let's see what Tullius has for us. And where might... Apparently he's not here. Yes, he is. By defeating Ulfric at Whiterun, we have solidified the allegiance of the Yarl. Perhaps the Stormcloaks will soon lose heart for this little rebellion of theirs once and for all. I doubt it. I'm promoting you to Quester. Take this blade, a symbol of your new station and responsibility. I'll keep an eye on your progress. The Empire rewards excellence, and so do I. What are my new orders? You'd be wasted as a regular soldier. I have special plans for you. You'll be of greater use to me with greater flexibility. Make your way to our hidden military camp in the Pale. Ricka will have important tasks for you, and will need you when we reclaim the capital. Okay. What exactly will I be doing in the field? You'll be doing whatever Ricka tells you to do. And I expect you to find creative ways to disrupt the Stormcloaks along the way. Yes, sir. Gods be with you. Okay, well we're off to Dawnstar apparently. We're going to go by way of Winterhold. Does that sound fair? I don't really want to be part of a war. Not directly, anyway. What did he give me? He gave me a weapon. Ebony Sword of Fire. Burns a target for 20 points. Targets on fire take extra damage. We're going to sell that badge of office. And we're actually... I'm in dire need of arrows. Because I fired a lot during the Battle of Whiterun. And it wouldn't hurt to also get hold of some food, I think. Let's see, I wonder how much Bayrand will give me for this ebony sword. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? I just need to sell you some stuff. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Do you have arrows? You have iron. You have no arrows. That's not helping. Ebony armor, helmet of archery. Oh wow, you do have a lot of gold here. Take this. I have soul steel arrows. Hmm. Anything in arm? Oh, I, I'm carrying this around. Of course I am. When I was just at home. I could have dropped a lot of stuff off. Didn't. Return anytime you need arms or armor. Mm. Need arrows. I think there's a Fletcher here. Yes, this will do. The gentleman in here always sells copious amounts of arrows. I wonder if they have any of the elemental arrows. They are quite useful. Hello and welcome, my friend. How may I help you on this fine day? What have you got for sale? 
Take a look. Let's see. Oh, you got the bone arrows. Those are nice. Let's see. Ebony. I'll take the elven. I'll take the ice. Lightning. And fire arrows. Yeah, you do have some. There we go. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. Hmm. Just two arrows in a bundle. Gold Ribbon of Merit. I've read that book. It's one of my favourite. Okay, let's be on our way to Winterhold. We'll probably take the carriage. We'll get there quite late in the day, I think. My frames around Solitude have dropped of late. I don't know why. I don't know. Playing on console has its... Um, boundaries but for this playthrough I wouldn't have it any other way don't need to be things to be perfect all the time come on legionnaire so I actually wonder what Tullius wants in the I mean wants in the pale but I know the Jarl of Dawnstar is not the most pleasant of people in the world. There are certainly worse people out there. We're just going to leave our horse at the stables here. I mean, we all know the horse will magically follow us anyway. I mean, we've actually not done much in Dawnstar. We've been there once or twice. And this rain just came out of nowhere. We spoke to... who did we speak to? One of the captains on the ships? He needed a... something fetching, but that was quite some time ago. Need a ride? I would like to hire you. We're going to go to Winterhold. And back and we'll one of the last places I ever want to go to, but... we have too much to do and too little time to do it in. This will clear up soon. I'm sure of it. Oh, I hope so too. Okay, feeling a tad drained. An awful lot of Imperials around here now, more than there were last time. Okay, so the plan is, is that I need to get to Sarthal and bring the star back to Aranea. I'm going to bring it back to Aranea because I don't quite trust Nalakar. Colour me suspicious, I don't know why, but... Azura doesn't seem half bad as much as Daedric Princes go. I mean, I'm going by the experience of the kind of okay Meridia and the somewhat insane Clavicus Vile. I kind of feel like Azura is okay. Um, now, I need to investigate the Boethia cultists. Um, this is going back some ways. Um... When I was in Blackreach, I resurfaced in Alftand, and I was attacked by a dragon, and apparently also a cultist. So we're going to set up camp in sort of middle area of all three of these, and we're going to go to each one. Maybe do Sarthal last, because that will probably take us the longest. Barrows and all that jazz. Now there may be a bear on the road. I hope not. Behind the tree. Ah, good. So yeah, we got attacked. Like, by someone who <laughs> took the amp... The opportunity to attack us while we're being attacked by a dragon and apparently it did not work out for him or her uh, it does strike strike me we could just go there straight away to Azura but I want to set up the camp first because I have bad bad memories of this place and what's the time it's mid-afternoon it's coming on evening Sar Sarthal's down that way, Azura is back that way, and Alftand is within sight. So we're going to set up camp here. I haven't set up camp in the longest time. I really haven't. 
Oh, I should probably have breakfast as well. I think we we went the whole night. That'll do us. There we go. That doesn't look half bad. Got plenty of goats, so we could do some hunting around here if we needed to. There's an Imperial uh, patrol down there with another with another Talos worshipper. Okay, so the question is, do I? I could walk to Alftan to be honest and give the horse a break. I mean. This isn't the biggest area in the game, and it's it's just nice to have a walk. Makes a nice change. So yeah, I wonder why this cultist attacked us in the manner that he did. He must have been very desperate. <laughs> it just seems so strange to attack someone while they're being attacked by a dragon. He was clearly not the smartest of people. It's getting sort of chilly up here. And of course it would. I mean, just look at it. There's more white than anywhere I've ever seen. Okay, there's a mammoth over there. So it means there may be giants. Okay, where is the cultist? There he is. God, he's a skinny thing. Paladin arrows. Boethia is proving. The dwarven war axe. Okay. So we've investigated the cultists. So let's try and read that book. Let's get somewhere warmer as we do so. Yeah, there's a giant. There are two of them. They're attacking something. I'm not keen on finding out because I don't want to get squished. Let's get back to the camp and read Boethi is proving and find out just exactly what Boethi is. Okay, so Boethi is proving. The following account is true. May it serve as a warning to those with ears to hear and the hearts to know. On a certain day, at a certain time, the faithful gathered to perform certain rituals, hoping to gain a glimpse of their master. The day was correct, and the summoning true. Slashing a smoking tear through the veil, she, her, very self appeared before them terrible and resplendent she came arrayed in ebony darker than the moonless night wielding a blade burning hotter than the surface of the sun and though she wore the guise of a dunma warrior queen she towered above them like a statue carved from red mountain itself why have you disturbed me? Surprised, the first among them prayed. O oh, Boethia, prince of plots, deceiver of nations, queen of shadows, goddess of destruction, we come to worship thee. She looked down upon her followers, gathered to bear witness. Frowning, she asked the first, Tell me, you who profess to know me, 
How shall I know you? Afeared, he exclaimed, Each night I pray to thee, each night I call out thy wondrous names. Surely thou must recognize the sound of my voice, thy most devoted of believers. She frowned and let out a long sigh, and then of a sudden he was gone, the air from her lungs dispersing him. Turning to the second, she asked, And you, how shall I measure your worth of your existence? Stunned by the power of her voice, he bowed before her, darkening visage. She clapped her hands. He too was gone. To the third, And you, tell me, how shall I know you apart from such as were they? Of whom... There is no trace. Shaken and speechless from the nullification of his brethren, he whispered, Have mercy upon us. She blinked twice. Once he was in ag agony. Twice he was destroyed. She cast a withering glance across those remaining and said, I do not grant mercy. And so it was with the others. She putting them to proof, they offering none. Finally she came to me, eyes aglow with anger, tongue wet with hate, and said, Of all my believers, but two remain, tell me, second to last, with what shall you prove your existence? Without hesitation I drew forth my blade and buried it into the chest of the other who stood beside me, and without fear replied, Ask him whose blood now spouts from, from my blade, if I exist. She smiled, and the gates of oblivion opened between her teeth. Then she said, Tell me, now last of my followers, wherefore do you remain where the others do not? I retrieved my blade and offered it up, saying, I am alive because that one is dead. I exist because I have the will to do so, and I shall remain as long as there are signs of my handiwork, such as the blood dripping from this blade. Accepting my gift, she nodded and said, Indeed. If in the reading your blood boils in your veins and your mind blazons with fire, then Boethia calls you. It is then most wise to heed her call. Find her on the mount which overlooks Windhelm. Meet us there and be tested. Okay. Officially creeped out. Okay. Boethia is probably not one of the friendliest of the Daedra. One of those ones that uh, my former master used to tell me to uh, uh, never ever go near. God, Azura's statue is just amazing. And our next destination, so off we go. Apparently the star of which I am carrying holds the soul of the Dark Elf who actually broke it. So I wonder what Azura has in store for me. I thought I took it from a dead corpse. Turns out that corpse was actually inside the star. Oh look, there's the sightless pit. Oh what memories I have of that place. It wasn't even that long ago. It really wasn't. Well, I wonder what Arane has in store. Needs to be some kind of broken pillar up there. And last time we came up here, there were. And that's a frightening tell that my arrow, that my bow is out of enchantment. Let's see. Whoa! Sorry. Wrong one. There we go. So now I have enchantment back. Well, 
people who told me to come here were not wrong. It truly is a sight to see. Yeah, I'm glad I have seen it in ways. I mean, Clavica's vile statue is in a cave in the back end of nowhere, as he says. This is... I mean, Meridia's statue is quite amazing, but that's... You know, anyone can see that. Like, if you want to come here, you want to see this, you have to come here. I mean, you could probably see it from the mountain road on the way into Winterhold. But still, like, wow. Okie dokie, sun is going down by the looks of it. I can probably see Sarthal, I think, is where I'm looking. Can't quite tell. It's getting cold. Let's be on the move. Hi, Erinair. I'm back. I saw a star. I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. Here, take it. I will commune with Azura. This is always fun. Azura, mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn, your chosen champion has returned your star. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the altar, and you will hear her voice. Okay. Yet another Daedra who wishes to speak to me. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malan Varen. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Hmm. Then why don't you remove it? Aren't you a Daedra? Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. Ah, that is true. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. I'm ready to enter the star, no time like the present. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Okay. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting... hungry. Why? There's something different about you. Is it the outfit? You can't escape your fate, Malin. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. Ah, he's a mage, of course. Let's just, uh... Cut him down, because I think there are things in my way. Oh boy, whoa! Dramora, not fun. And a ranked Dramora by the looks of it. Come here. Die by my hand. Oh god, they are powerful. Even with all my worthiness of being a Breton. I should try and hit them with... Uh... There we go. Oh god, they just healed themselves straight away. I'm just gonna go restoration. Oh god, even more. There can be no other end. 
that's fun. Oh, I've shattered the eyes of the Dedrick Lords. Shall we try this again? Come here, mage. Come on. One Dramora down, but we know there's at least three here. Ow. Ow. Oh boy, here they come. Here he comes. I'm gonna need to potion up and poison up. Prolonged invisibility. My poisons are... Where are they? Come on, if I can just get one off. Maiden Varen's down. My health is still standing. The star is free to purify itself. Come on. I will return you before you are cleansed. I gotta get this Dramora out of here first. Nice. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Thank you, Lady Azura. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. That became risky. Let's take a look at what we have. Azura's star. Just a simple grand soul gem that will never break. And what of Anira, Aranea? While you were in the star, Azura gave me a vision. Her last, she said. I have never been without Azura's foresight since escaping Morrowind. I don't know what to do. If you need me, I'd be honored to accompany you, Guardian of the Star. It would give me a purpose. Thank you. Twilight, watch over you, Guardian. So Azura isn't giving you any more visions? No. She said my part was over. That my fate had moved beyond the twilight, and I was on my own. I will tend Azura's shrine when you do not need me. I still have my duties, but for the first time I feel alone. Until next time, Guardian. That all sounds a bit sad. Well, because I did a quest for... You know what? Oh, loyal legionnaire. I'm right behind you. It's time for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. Aranea? What do you need, Guardian? Follow me. Let's not waste any time. I feel like for the first time I may have a follower that... can appreciate... Rickart and me and all I am. A guardian, she calls me. And a guardian I shall be. For however long, however how much more life is within me. So now, next stop, Sarthor. Dare I should return to the campsite first? No, I think not. Zarthor it's, itself should be closer than the campsite. Let's keep the bow out, because obviously there may be yet creatures, because the sun is going down. I should actually heal myself. The, the sun is down. Dusk has arrived. 
and it's gonna get cold so I'm fully prepared I say fully I don't have any hot soups with me so of course I'm not fully prepared but the campsite is nearby it's really damn cold now The quickest way down into Sarthal. There's a fox. I don't see Aranea, but that's just fine by me. She's probably just packing up the last of her things from the shrine. There she is. So I do need to be careful because I am moving pretty slowly. Simply because of the cold. I should probably grab a torch. It will grant me a little bit of warmth at least. I mean, it's not a blizzard. That's the best thing that could actually have happened. What? Here a troll. Oh, that's two trolls. That's two trolls. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Come on, Aranea. One hit from them and it might be over. Come on, you got him. There's one more. I don't know why exactly I'm running towards him because he's there. What? Bye bye. Where is he? Wait, is he dead? I think he's dead. Troll for ebony armor. Where are you carrying that? Monkhood purple. Take my fire arrow back. Oh god. Oh god. Aranea. Where are you? There you are. What do you need, Guardian? I need you to trade some things. What do you need to take? It's not what I need to take, it's what I need to give. Take many, many things. Take this. You're probably going to wear it. Yeah. That's not a good look. Um, but it will do for now. Uh, also take that. That. And... I think that's it. There's my Mammoth Tusk Powder. Hmm... Until next time, Guardian. It's not the worst look. But, uh... You know... So, Sarthor is somewhere down this way. It's getting cold. So let's try and jump in quickly. Ooh, boy. That's a drop. Oh god. This was further away than I expected. It's just the aura. It looks like someone's been here digging in. That's probably the way back. Okay. Front door to Sarthal. Sarthal excavation looks like only a key will work. It requires a key. Then who has the key? 